the life of a nation had been abruptly and brutally brought to a standstill. The young widow kisses the stars and stripes in an immortal gesture of farewell. And yet, in that stark and shadowy scene, there is one century-old artifact of tradition and continuity. It is the Lincoln Catafalque, a plain wooden platform that carries the grief of the nation. A grim but essential national relic, a sign that we have suffered this wound before, and we carry on. Planning a presidential funeral is no easy task, especially in the panicked aftermath of an assassination. Mrs. Kennedy wanted the details of her husband's funeral to follow those of another assassinated president, Abraham Lincoln. With historical accuracy as a top concern, historians at the Library of Congress studied yellowed newspapers and engravings of Lincoln's funeral. It was rather remarkable that Jackie Kennedy maintained such a focus on history and was so concerned and so respectful of tradition and precedent. Though many of the traditions could be replicated, it turned out that one authentic artifact survived from the time of Lincoln's funeral. It was the Lincoln catafalque. The word catafalque comes from the Greek, meaning half a casket. In early times, bodies were placed directly on the platform, uncasketed. The catafalque had been built nearly a hundred years earlier in haste, following Lincoln's own death at the hands of an assassin on April 15, 1865. George Harrington, the Assistant Secretary of the Treasury, ordered carpenters to build a catafalque to support the president's coffin while he lay in state at the Capitol building. The catafalque was built by the commissioner of public buildings, B.B. Uh, French, and his wife sewed the black uh, drapery that was, that was used to cover. The, the structure of the catafalque is really a very simple pine structure, rough pine boards nailed together. It's nothing elaborate. The simple catafalque base was dressed in silver fringe and looped with silver stars. On the morning of April 19th, pallbearers brought the casket up the Capitol steps and placed it on the waiting catafalque. Public visitation began the next morning. 25,000 mourners filed past the coffin before the doors were shut at midnight. At the end of the week, the president's coffin was taken from the catafalque to Springfield, Illinois, Lincoln's final resting place. The catafalque did not make the journey. Instead, the platform was carried into the basement of the Capitol and placed in an empty tomb that had originally been constructed to hold George Washington's body. When the Washington family declined to move his body there, it left an empty crypt, which became the resting place of the catafalque. But this relic of Lincoln's martyrdom would not be out of sight for long. When President William McKinley was assassinated in 1901, his body was transported from Buffalo to Washington, where he too rested on the catafalque. And over the years, the catafalque became a regular part of the Capitol's funeral ritual and supported the most noteworthy coffins. The Americans who've laid in state have laid on the Lincoln catafalque. The unknown soldiers from World War I, from World War II, the unknown soldier from the Vietnam conflict, um, ex-presidents such as William Howard Taft, Jagger Hoover, a myriad of Americans, both from political and military careers, judicial careers. On November 23, 1963, the body of President John F. Kennedy arrived back in Washington from Dallas and was taken to the White House. The next day, the Lincoln catafalque was again removed from the Capitol crypt. At precisely 1.48 that afternoon, President Kennedy's coffin arrived from the White House and was placed upon it. As President Kennedy's coffin rested on Lincoln's catafalque, thousands of heartbroken mourners came to say goodbye in two single file lines around the body, just as mourners had done in Lincoln's time.
After the funeral, Kennedy was taken to Arlington National Cemetery to rest beneath the eternal flame. The catafalque was returned to its basement crypt. Abraham Lincoln's catafalque is still stored in the Capitol building in Washington, D.C.